Hey everyone. All four tables or all four legs of a table are shown have identical measurements, but they are attached to the table so that the top um so that a measure of angle three is smaller than the measure of angle one. So we're going to use the hinge theorem to explain why the table top is not level and then use the converse of the hinge theorem to explain how to use the length measure to determine when angle four, uh, this one, is congruent to uh, this one in reattaching the rear pair of legs to make the uh, table level. So the first one, we just have to explain why it's not level. And so according um, uh, to the hinge theorem, we know that measure of angle three, or we can just say um, uh, angle three is less than the measure of angle one. So according to our hinge theorem, that means the far side or the side opposite of this um, angle, the far side of the table, so we say far side of the table is lower than the near side. And that's just basically by the uh, theorem. If, uh, if uh, 3 is smaller, then this side's going to be lower than the bigger angle. Now we've got to use the converse of the hinge theorem. So this is uh, angles here. To explain how to use the length measures to determine when angle 4 is congruent to angle 2. So basically for that one, uh, by the converse of the theorem, hinge theorem, angle 4 um, will, be the, will be larger than angle 2 until the distance Uh, between the tops of each pair of legs, to see is the same. So basically, for the converse of the hinge theorem. We're uh, dealing with the angles and or the sides, and the sides have to be the same. And in that regard, when the uh, distance between the tops of each pair of legs is the same, then angle four will be congruent to angle two. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.